What is going on everybody? It's Eavesdrop and I hope that everyone in the Eavesdrop Army is having an absolutely fantastic day. Now today what we are trying out is we are trying out the Phase Berry G Fuel. This is the official Eavesdrop taste test of, you guessed it, I hope, I hope you could tell, the Phase Berry G Fuel. Not only do we have the Phase Berry G Fuel, but we have the Phase 2.0 cup. I would have used the other Phase cup, the Phase Red cup. However, it is not clear and I wanted to be able to show you guys the color of the Phase Berry because it has a cool color to it. I mean, who knows? What a have you ever seen a phase berry in the wild? If you've never seen a phase berry in the wild, you may not know what a phase berry looks like. So, of course, it's not a real berry. I'm not stupid. We're gonna try this out. I think it'll be fantastic. Sit back, relax, and enjoy as we try out the phase berry G. So, as we always start out, we need to look at, we need to diagnose, we need to check out, inspect the packet, and look for the tear here line. Boom, there it is. You cannot tear anywhere but the tear here line. No one has researched the implications of tearing from the other side. We have no idea what would happen. You could die. Who knows? You might fall off a cliff tomorrow. You could, who knows? You know, you just got to not risk it. Don't take the risk. Don't be a bad boy or a bad girl. Tear from the tear here side. Just, just do yourself and your whole family a favor and tear from the tear here side. You could get hurt. Who knows? So here we go. We got our fresh glass here. Let me turn it to the face side. Boom. All right. There's the face side. Here's the face packet. Let's dump it in there. Check out what color it becomes. Woo! Look at that. When it falls in and then it like splashes and then splashes up this way. It doesn't splash, but like the powder falls in and then goes up. Such a cool, it, it just looks so damn cool. So let's throw the lid on here. I did not do the smell test. We'll smell this and then we'll smell the packet. Smells absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Let's put the lid on. Bada boom, bada bing. Bada bop boom, pow. Oh! The lid is completely on. Make sure the cap is on. Always put your finger on top of the cap. You never know because you could get to shaking this thing so damn hard that you just get phase berry G fuel or whatever G fuel you are shaking up just all over your room or wherever you're at. Maybe you're, uh, you know, you're at a job interview and you decide to pull out some G fuel and shake it up. You don't want to get that on your future boss because you're probably not getting the job if that happens, especially if you just start taking out something and shaking it up in the middle of an interview. But as you guys know, if you've seen these, we need to shake the living shit out of this cup here, which is already turning the color of a phase berry. But let's get it. Three Three, two, one, shake it up. <laughs> to the front, to the side, to the other side. Hit the fan, knock over the G Fuel Tower. <sighs> okay, I think that this is shaken up enough. There we go, there's the color for you. Now my, depending on what you're viewing this on and depending on how my camera shows it, of course it could be a different color in real life. But it is kind of a darker pink purplish color, I wanna say. It looks like if you took all these berries and then uh, you, know, you mix them up together in powder form and then shook them up in a bottle. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay, so now that it is all shaken up, let's get to the taste test. Let's pop her open. Give her one more smell test. Oh God, it smells so good. Three, two, one. Oh God, it's so good. It's so good. I gotta say. I gotta say, if there were such a thing as a phase berry in the wild, I would have picked every last phase berry off of the bush or tree or whatever it grows on. Maybe it's like a carrot. I don't think ber berries don't go underground, but let's say that this particular phase berry grows underground, whatever. I would have dug it up. I would have every single phase berry on earth because they are so fantastic. This drink is fantastic. And if this is the first video of mine that you've seen, or you've never seen one of my streams where I've talked about, cause people ask me all the time, yo, eavesdrop, you do all these videos on G Fuel. What's your favorite G Fuel flavor? I say every time that it is phase berry. Yes, I have had phase berry before, but I've had many requests to review it, Regardless, I've said, you know, I mean, I've already had it. I just told you it was my favorite. And they're like, you know what? I still want you to do a review. So I decided I'm gonna I'm throw it in the shaker. I'm gonna throw it in the shaker. I drink it all the time anyways. And do a formal review of Phase Berry. It is my favorite flavor. People will ask me all the time on streams or in comments or whatever. If you have one flavor, which one would you recommend? This is the one that I recommend every single time because I love it. This was the first flavor I ever bought. So I guess I got lucky in the first one and it just happened to be my favorite. But it is fantastic. I do wholeheartedly recommend Phase Berry. Again, if, you, if you're still skeptical, definitely just pick yourself up a packet. Uh, you can get them in three packs, I think for like $5.99 on the site. I don't have a code, I wish I did, I wish I was sponsored. G Fuel, if you're watching this, hit me up with the code, eavesdrop10 for 10 off, I don't know. Don't, don't use that code, because it won't work. You gotta find somebody else's code, because I don't have it. But, I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys all really did enjoy the Phase Berry review, even though I know a lot of you guys already knew it was my favorite. If you are new, now you know that it's fantastic. I hope you will try it out, even if you just get a packet and you say, hey, maybe I don't like this one. Try some other flavors, I think they have so many different flavors to offer that I mean you'll find one that you like but thanks again for watching hope you guys all really did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like down below also if you're new make sure to drop a new down the subscribe button become part of the eavesdrop army and
And if you're already in the eavesdrop army, make sure to click on that bell so you can get my notifications and see my videos as soon as they come out or when I start streaming, you can see right as I start streaming. But the one thing that I want you guys to do, even if you don't like and you don't subscribe or you don't hit the bell, I want you to have an absolutely fantastic day regardless. Have a fantastic day, night, morning, mm -hmm. afternoon, where, whenever you're watching this, have a damn good one. I will see you guys all later. Thank you again for watching. And as always, I've been eavesdrop and I'm out. Yeah.